Oh guys, it's been such an early start today. I'm on the train into London to go to the Everything Electric show, um, which used to be called Fully Charged Live. Uh, should be there in a couple of hours, but um, yeah, it's quite a, an early morning for me today. I've made it to London. I'm at Paddington Station, uh, but I need to find the Bakerloo line. I think that's the brown one. Right, better go hunting. I could have just read the sign, I suppose. So I got off the train a stop early because I thought I'd try out the London cable car. Um, I think it opens at about nine o'clock. So that should take me straight over to the XL well, a couple of minutes walk from it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. I hope it's running. It's not great weather today, but I found the cable cars. They're right up there, but they're very high up and I've no idea how I actually get up to them. I'm on the cable car. It's quite exciting. When I used to go snowboarding, I used to play this little game on the ski lifts uh, in my head, not out loud, uh, wondering what would happen if the cable snapped at various points. I reckon if it snapped opposite me on the other track, that'd be the safest because then I'd just get lowered down gently by the weight of everything. You wouldn't want it to snap right above you. Luckily, there's nobody else in this cable car to hear those thoughts, so that's probably a good thing. Well, that was fun, but now I better go and find the XL, which is why I'm actually here, I suppose. I've managed to find the entrance, so that's something at least. It's quite a subtle little entrance, actually. It doesn't open for another half hour, so I'm gonna have to queue to get in. Uh, but I'm actually waiting for Diara to turn up. He's coming along as well, so he should be here in a few minutes. So while I wait, turns out I was really hungry. I've got to have breakfast, so sausage bap. I'm here at the Mixergy stand and I know last time I saw the Mixergy products I wasn't too keen on the idea of getting the Mixergy tank itself because I thought it was a bit expensive compared to a standard tank. Now given I'm not a massive user of hot water um, I didn't think the extra cost uh, of the tank and the system was justified. There's probably some sort of cost analysis you can do to work out whether it's worth it for you. Um, but in any case, I've got a normal Daikin tank that Octopus supplied me with my heat pump installation. But what uh, Mixergy have got now is their heat pump uh, water tank, which is a much better solution for those people with um, like electric heating. So if you've got like electric radiators or if you've got um, air to air um, heat pump then it would make a lot of sense to have a heat pump water cylinder because it's a lot more efficient than having a, um, uh, like a, a heating element uh, doing the hot water for you. So basically, if you want to find out more about the heat pump, uh, about the heat pump water cylinder, go and look at Tim and Kat's channel because Tim is looking into getting one himself, so he's done a lot of research on it. So you should be able to see Diara in the background there, just looking at getting a, an air-to-air heat pump. He wants some sort of more efficient heating solution for his shed in his back garden. Uh, at the moment, he's got some normal electric heating in there. Um, so that's a sort of case where if you haven't got room for an air to water heat pump system you could get an air to air heat pump system and then something like the Mixergy heat pump hot water cylinder would be quite a good idea to give you the most efficient way of generating hot water in your house as well. Just hanging around by the Lego and I bump into this guy here. Oh hang on, it's Danny V Solar. Isn't he tall in real life? <laughs> so I was just looking at a couple of electric boiler companies and they're Okay, so they're not efficient 
or as efficient as a heat pump would be. They're probably more efficient than a gas boiler. But if you haven't got room for a, uh, a heat pump in your house, or maybe you don't have the, the money to put a heat pump in, um, a, an electric boiler is probably a, a good option for you. I mean, they don't take up that much space. And there's one company in there called the, um, the Electric Combi Boiler Company. I'll put some overlays on now. And they are essentially, it's a drop-in replacement, a 12 kilowatt boiler. Ah, uh, not 21, sorry. Here we go. So you saw me just spin the wheel on the octopus stand to get a little blushy but don't forget if you're not with octopus energy yet uh, if you're going to switch then please use my referral code which will be on the screen right now and then you'll get 50 pounds for account credit and i'll get 50 pounds to say thank you it's constantine so hopefully you can see in the background the octopus cozy six which is their new heat pump now if i'd have waited another year i'd have probably got one of these instead of the daikin model that i've had installed but there's not much information about it at the moment. We know that it will go to high temperature, um, but I've been told that's optional and it'll do up to 400% efficiency. Um, and it looks quite nice and granite-like. Um, better than the uh, bright blue color that was shown on stage at the launch anyway. But anyway, that's the Cozy 6 coming soon in a few months apparently. Ah, <laughs> So Diara's having a bit of fun on an electric bike, doing a test drive. And I know we're all hoping he falls off somehow, but so far he's, he's managing to stay on okay. <laughs> so Diara, how does it feel to be lapped by a sofa? <laughs> <laughs> So we just test drove uh, an electric bike. Uh, it's the first time I've ever driven an electric bike. And it's by a company called Cinch who make these bikes down in Dorset. So it's a, a British company and it's quite good fun. I did nearly stack it on one of the corners. I almost went into one of the barriers, uh, but fortunately just about saved by the brakes, which are really responsive actually. So here's a brand you might recognize. And I know they've been doing uh, home batteries for a little while because uh, I've had a look at their website and they basically used to do just batteries and you have to get a Solis inverter or another third party one to run it but now they've actually bought out their own hybrid inverter and I think it's um, Pure Drive Energy, it's like a, a rebranded product, they've got the license to use the name Duracell in the UK. Um, they've now got this uh, inverter here which is a hybrid inverter it does two strings and they've got these two quite compact five kilowatt hour batteries that can uh, be stacked on it in fact you can actually not just wall mount them they can actually be stacked on the floor as well if you wanted them that sort of way so they, they, they can be quite neatly uh, hidden in your home so you might notice a traditional boiler brand above my head a Baxi now I had a Baxi back boiler in one of my houses it was made in something like 1983 and it was still going over 30 years later so they've got quite a reputation for being a reliable uh, sort of brand of boilers uh, but it looks like they're transitioning to fully electric heat so they've got just behind me a prototype of a monoblock heat pump that they're going to be uh, rolling out in 2025 so it's under development at the moment you can't buy it yet but it is coming soon I reckon they'll be quite a strong contender in the market once they get that product out because uh, they're already quite experienced with things like control systems and other sorts of electric heating so uh, I think Baxi will be one to watch in the future. I got very excited when I saw the extreme obstacle course on the map but um, in real life I'm a bit more disappointed because they won't let me on it. Apparently it's for kids so a visit to one of these events isn't complete without visiting the, uh, the Give Energy stand because obviously I'm a bit of a fan of Give Energy products because I've got the uh, EV charger, I've got the all-in-one, I've got an AC3 and uh, the thing about the, uh, the EV charger though, I've had a chat with them and um, it's not compatible with Intelligent Octopus Go yet which everybody seems to know anyway but it's coming very soon because it's actually available on the Octopus R&D site now uh, so you can't actually switch to the Intelligent Octopus Go tariff 
but you can choose it as a device in Octopus R&D. Not much you can do with that yet, but it does show that it's coming soon. So I think I've got to summarise up today, and I'm pretty much done for the day, and it's three o'clock. I've got to say, I've had a really good day. There's lots of interesting stuff to see here, but the event is a lot smaller and a lot quieter than previous ones. I think perhaps there's been too many everything electrical fully charged events going on. I think they had the fully charged event in Farnborough, they had the one in the north of England as well. I don't think they needed to rebrand to call themselves everything electric. I think the name fully charged seems to work fine in my mind. Um, perhaps there's a manufacturer fatigue of coming to events or something because it's um, it just feel a lot smaller and the footfall in this place is um, a lot lower than previous. I mean, I can actually walk around this uh, entire hall several times without bumping into anyone. And there's, there's a constant hum of people here. Um, but I don't want to take away from the fact that this was a good event, it's worthwhile. There's a lot of worthwhile technologies on display here as well. Plenty of cars to have test drives on. But perhaps they should just stick to one event a year, maybe. Anyway, I've had a great time and I think it's time to uh, get back on the train and go home. So I'm gonna to move to the side now. These people here, I wanna say a great big thank you to because they are my channel members. So thank you all for uh, supporting the channel. If you'd like to become a channel member too, then there's a link underneath the video. Click on the join button. Uh, don't forget, if you wanna join Octopus Energy, then um, use my referral code, 50 pound bonus for each of us. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.